so I'm way out of whack. I'm not 100% sure when this is from. This is probably over a week ago now. Um, but again, it's just a video I've saved and I obviously have watched it before and wanted to comment on it. So let's have a look. Okay, honey. Love you. <laughs> I'll be in shortly. I'm so tired, yeah. We're about to upload our, our video. True love is always, he's going to bed, he's fallen asleep a lot sooner than she is and she's left to just sit up and go live and talk to her friends. <laughs> and uh, I noticed a few things. Bye. Love you. I'll be in soon, okay? Why is somebody, like, literally, do you guys not remember when I, let's speak about hypocrites. First of all, the obvious, my thumbnail. Have you seen, did you not see when I first came to Kuwait, this hideous beast said, Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna co cover her in Kuwait. It's too boring. Literally, every single thing I upload, she covers. So again, where's your, where's your hiatus on my content? Just like booze in, just like everybody. The only reason people know your name from like the last six months is because people react to your content. You're so ridiculously boring. Luckily, we'll find bits that are actually worth watching and put them together and comment on them and make them interesting. You should try it. You should try actually editing a video instead of just doing a lazy live like you've been doing for two years. Hey, chokes on dick. It's true, it's ridiculous. Like, don't say something that you're not, like, obviously we know that's not true. My Kuwait arc is boring, yet every single person uses it every single day for hours. So how is it boring? Flop era, shut the fuck up, go away. Bye, you're blocked. You really need to start being careful with who you're blocking. I know that you're very lucky because flop era keeps coming back for whatever stupid reason. But I don't know if you've noticed, a lot of people don't come back because they've found better places to watch you. So maybe you should start tiptoeing around the people that actually put up with your bullshit. So, I don't want any of her freaking supporters in here. I don't care about the BBJ situation. I'm not talking about it anymore. She's obviously using that cat for views and money. So who cares? I don't care. She's just a liar. I think you'll find FFG didn't lie about not covering your Kuwait arc. I think she just changed her mind. Sound familiar? What else do you have to do? Seriously, you literally talk about me posting a picture of my uh, hamster in the air fryer as a joke. Nobody found that amusing. Considering you were being accused of abusing an animal, the fact that you thought you just put the hamster in an air fryer for a little thumbnail is ridiculous and you really need to reevaluate the things that you find funny because most of us normal people don't find her in animals funny you literally are talking about me eating pizza when your chins are like 500 times bigger than mine just because you've got cloth in front of your five chins doesn't mean they've disappeared you're not a magician seriously look at the freaking profile look at my, my uh, profile pic or profile pic what do you call it thumbnail look at the thumbnail seriously how many like how many pizzas do you eat in secret? There's a reason you're not showing yourself on camera. Because you are disgusted with how you look. You hate being fat, so you take it out on everyone else. Maybe if you'd have visited that therapist more than twice, you would have realised that what you're actually projecting out is about yourself. Secondly, most of us work, so we don't have time to sit on camera all day. It's a lot easier to quickly edit and talk over a video than it is to sit on camera while stuffing your face with a meal for four. Just at this point, you're the most money content-wise. No, BBJ is the most money content-wise right now. She's literally torturing a cat, claiming it's in- You take a picture of her, anyone can do that. Doesn't mean the cat's not suffering. Oh, she's do she's on the men, really? Let's see proof of it. Let's see an effing video of her. What's the alternative? Her being dead in the ground because you held on to her and put her down when she didn't need to be. Let's see, like, guarantee that cat is suffering. If it has severe arthritis and so many other things, she's disgusting. First of all, how she attained the cat makes her a piece of shit, number one, to begin with. And then to go and milk it for views and everything else makes her a bigger piece of crap. But whatever, I'm not even talking about that anymore. You can call me an animal abuser all you want. I don't care. I've already said that. But you do care, though, because you deleted your seven-part series on TikTok explaining why you're not an animal abuser. So does that mean that you've finally realised that you are? Not that you'll ever admit it, obviously. Um, it's all the same morons who do it anyways. The point is, I'm here to laugh in her bad, ugly face, her 800 chins, that she has to use me for content. Have you seen her video of the guy that she lusts over? 5,000 views. 5,001 now, as it sounds like you've been watching it. Act that you sit there and like, I'm not going to cover her content. You're the biggest, fattest liar ever. Are you kidding? You have nothing else. You can't do anything else. Says the person that's been sitting on her ass doing lies for the last two years, just gaining weight every day. What else can you do? Like, these people have to resort to talking about me eating pizza? Like, what the hell? Honestly. You know like how people go to the zoo and they watch elephants eat? It's kind of like that. And we all know you love the zoo, so I don't really think you can talk. Another thing, and I saw a really good point about this. Like, this biatch is harping on me for my cat care. Are you kidding? You hang out and get high and then drive home high, by the way. You There's literally a video of you online smoking weed while you're driving. I really wouldn't critique anyone when it comes to that. Get high with the biggest lowlife, Shannon, who literally locks her dogs. When I Last time I went to Shannon's house, she locked her dog because she can't control it. So when she can't control her dog because she doesn't even bother to get it trained or whatever, doesn't take care of it, she locks it in a bedroom. The whole time I was there, it was squealing to come out, pawing at the door. She was yelling at it. Ah! She lets, she didn't take her dog to the vets on time. So where's the outrage for her? I'm sorry, let me get this straight. So what you're saying is you saw another animal being abused 
and you did nothing. So it's not just the one animal you've abused then. Hmm, interesting. Where's the outrage for her? She didn't stay with Shannon for hours that late. Exactly. They got super high to the point where they have to laugh. They have nothing to talk about, nothing to do, no content. They go live and talk about my Uncle Phyllis, how they saw her in Walmart. Of course she would be in Walmart, number one. Number two, of course she would have like <laughs> milk that for views too. Who are you calling uncle? You legit look like Randy Quaid. I've never seen an uglier woman in my entire life from the inside out. You really need to cool it. There's a reason you're not on camera. There's a reason. She was literally on camera like three days ago with your best friend. You know that thing that you were just ranting about? So I don't understand your point. <clears throat> she was smoking on camera and then drove home. So she was smoking on camera, so I don't want to hear anyone come for me for driving high when I never did. So all the people that you say and they saw you do it are liars, are they? I'll put the clip in here to prove you wrong again. So I don't want to hear anyone come for me for driving high when I never did. Where's- oh, did I do that? Like, seriously. Because, you know, I'm a sugar mama. F Fupa roll, yes! <sighs> <laughs> Princess Cannibalist, thank you, I agree. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm driving. Oh well. <clears throat> it was just one hoot. I'm not high, I just saw the vape thing here and I'm like, oh. But I'm not high. I don't even get high from vapes at all. At all. If I can do like 500 milligrams of edibles. Anyways, it's tobacco vape, it's not marijuana. So shut up. Anyway. So I also got a new vape. Um, Sunset Sherbet is the, yes, I got a new babe. Yeah. Yes. Where's, oh, did I do that? Like, seriously. <sighs> Shut up. People are so, so, so self-righteous when they have no right to be. That's what I'm mad about. One single reaction channel can answer what they would do for content without your videos. The thing I don't think that you understand is that most people watch reaction channels for the actual reactors, not to see your ugly face, okay? But if we did ever want to do other content, we could. FFG has proved that. We don't all obsess over you. I know you think we do, just because you're obsessed over watching every single reaction. We've got lives, you know. At all, at all. I should literally take a hiatus from YouTube for like a month. Totally should do it. I don't want to, like, why should I punish, like, my beezers for that, you know? You really do think so highly of yourself to think that people are actually going to care if you weren't to go live. There's probably, what, a good 50 beezers that would actually give a shit? The ones that pay to talk to you for whatever stupid reason? Most people don't give a fuck. Because most people don't like animal abusers. What I mean? A plus, stop being dismissive of what I want to talk about, okay? Thank you. Just a reminder that being a beezer means you pay 4 99 a month to basically be told to shut up. And uh, heads up, I'm totally happy to do that for like a dollar. So, you know, hit me up. I asked why she doesn't go on camera and she got angry with me. She's such a hypocrite. Yeah, exactly. Well, have you seen my thumbnail? That's why she doesn't go on camera. So she sits there behind the camera and fat shames me. When I look, uh, even if I was 100 pounds. So you're just proving why you shouldn't go live because you sound stupid. You obviously meant a thousand pounds, but you know, I know numbers are hard. Loser, I would be better looking than you. Like, the proof is I have a hot husband and you have to make one up. You have to make one up and go hang out with Shannon on Valentine's Day. You are a loser. A loser would be somebody that chose to sexually gratify her ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend just so that he'd touch her. That's pretty sad. I'd say you're the loser. So have fun with BBJ that you're milking for views and abusing the cat even more by putting her through hell just so you can look like an effing hero when you're a big hypocrite because you need to keep that same energy, French fried chins, with your friend Shannon, who you do drugs with. And obviously she's on camera. You both coke up and then drive back to Montreal and DG. You freaking ghetto piece of crap loser. Thank you. And tell her to take care of her dog. She let her dog go with rabies and bit people for a whole month and didn't take her to the vet. Not only that, she keeps the dog locked up in a room screaming to get out. Please. I get that you're upset because your best friend decided that you're a piece of shit. But do you really have to vent about it online? Maybe like talk to your real friends, you know, in real life. Sorry, I just realized that was stupid. You put no friends in real life at all. So keep that same energy. But no, of course not, because it's not me. Do you see how people villainize me for things that other people do even worse? Give me a break. If you choose to post videos on the internet, people are going to judge you. You just make it a lot easier than most. Shannon and Effigy are going to start hanging out with Missy. Are you jealous that they'd make a better threesome than the one that you had with Nada and Dee? Oh, that's another one. Let me get to that now. <laughs> Missy, you need to shut your self-righteous trap. You're a club chaser at this point. Do you not? How do you go from comparing Breezy Boozin to Casey Anthony just a month ago. You literally called her a child, compared her to a child murderer, and now you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna defend her because I said something about her. You're just like all of the other morons who do the same thing. So you mean like Lambo and Plain Cheeseburger and Sofa King and Annie and Travonda, all these people that actually like came to their senses and realized 
how much of an awful human being you are. Of course it's going to happen eventually, the same as it'll happen with all the people in your chat right now, because they spend enough time watching you and realize how disgusting you are. Sarah Blaine, you're just like her. You're just like her when just a month ago, you were just complaining about all of these people. In the DMs, your husband himself. When you're at the point that you're ranting, sitting down and still have to take a breath, please consider changing your life choices. Said many times to Salah, oh, Missy would never ever talk about Chantal, even if something happened. And here you are hoping to get like, what? Hoping to get like views like FFG has based on my name again? You had like 17 people in your stupid chat. Nobody likes to listen to you talk. You're really coming off as a bit of a stalker now. How do you know there were 17 people in our chat? Creepy. Nobody. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to hear you. Okay? It's, I never thought that this person would ever be like that. Completely, completely just like flip the switch. And act all self-righteous like anyone cares what you have to say. She goes on there going, well, I don't think this is right. And I don't think this is right. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Including me. And the, like, <laughs> no, she, like the picture of uh, T and Dust's daughter. I got that from her in a DM. And she got it from somebody. I don't know. I don't feel bad about that. People have no problem being super personal in my life, revealing everything about me, my finances, whatever. So it's only okay for us to know your finances when you're getting 20 grand that month, but anything else we're not allowed to know about. Okay. T and Dust talks crap about, she says the most vile things, bullying me for years. Like, have a look at your, here's your mirror, the picture of, here's your mirror. I don't feel bad for that at all. I don't care. And Miss, she had the nerve to message my, my husband in a DM all hurriedly, like, you know, I don't know how you deal with her, kind of like, basically, like, are you kidding? We don't understand how your man can deal with you either, or anybody for that for that matter. They're such hypocrites. They're, whatever you want to call them, pussies, freaking cowards, everything, everything. The minute you go in there and you defend me or do have an actual point with a brain that, that, that took brain power to come up with like this, they block you. <laughs> I'm sorry, the queen of blocking everybody that doesn't agree with her has a problem with blocking people? Doesn't make sense, does it? So, I don't ever want to hear any of your self-righteous crap, and you, Goblin, I don't want to ever hear you say, oh, her content's boring, because it's paying your bills and those vet bills that you're milking for views. Thank you. You're welcome. You mean the vet bills that you couldn't afford so you were just going to put her down instead? You should have been paying those vet bills, end of. She messages Salah offering to save him from you. You're right! <laughs> oh my gosh, I think he would rather be dead than have to deal with you over me, thank you. Like, seriously. These people are delusional. Coming from the person that says she has pretty privilege. She looks like a goblin, look at the pic- She looks like an old man with no teeth. And yeah, I'm probably going to help her saying that. I don't care at this point. Like, seriously. Whatever. Self-defense. You're probably going to hell. That is the first truth you've told. <laughs> like, you're gonna sit there. How how do people not see? She's gonna sit there on a live stream for three hours talking, analyzing how I'm eating pizza, the pizza I'm eating, blah, blah, blah. Watching somebody put away the amount of food that you do is quite impressive. It is also the only impressive thing you ever do. Uh, talking crap about my husband. When she's like 900 pounds herself, we can clearly see this from the thumbnail. So you're clearly scarfing down something behind the scenes. You're not eating arugula salads. With the amount of money she's making, I'm sure she's eating a lot better than you. Please, please don't even go there. And all of this, like, what do you think? What, what do you expect? You went from, literally, she went from, <coughs> like, what? Not even a month ago. L like, completely supporting, like, oh, you guys are family. Uh, we would sponsor Salah if you needed. No, we don't need that. Thank you. I've said that already. We don't need your help with that. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, I'm living permanently here now. We're not going to Canada. So, again, you're wrong about that. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I love it. I love it. Uh-oh, the pinky's out, guys. She's not playing around. You're wrong. Wrong about him using me for citizenship. You're wrong about everything that you have, like, that you talk about. There's no point. No, Sarah's just a, like, they're both, the, her and her panel are a bunch of demented, weird, projecting, bored, middle-aged women who have no life, literally have nothing going on in their life. I don't know what their problem is. I'm not, I'm, I'm not the one who, wait till you see her vlog today, how nice our day was. Like, literally, go live your life. Go live your life. We can't all be locked in a flat every day by our fake husband that we're having to pay because no one could ever love us because deep down we're an awful piece of shit. You know, we're not all that lucky. She's going to do a live stream like, ah, ah, come here, chicken snug it. By the way, brush your dog. Like, seriously. Coming from the person whose cat had to be shaved because their fur was so bad. You come at me and I hate the self-righteous people who have no right to be. I, I can't stand people like that. Like, sitting there, like, talking about pet care and putting up all these PSAs. Like, when you know nothing about the situation, really, honestly. So, <clears throat> how do you go from a longtime supporter friend and then going to, like, I, you know what I mean? So, this is your fault. You have no right to be mad at me. I'm not allowed to feel a certain way about people treat me. Too bad. Stay mad about it. You always say that people will get their karma. But it seems like you're getting yours. You've got hardly any money. Nobody that loves you. You're in a country where you're locked in a house. Sorry. Motel 6. And you're running on the internet instead of being in bed with your husband. I don't care how you try to damage my reputation. I'll never go anywhere and I'll always have some people supporting me. And even if I don't, whatever. You're not going to get rid of me that easy. So... So you do your shit and we'll do ours. She said she'll never change her talk about you badly. And just after a few days, she super chatted that vile goblin. And then she started to do what Hater Channel's doing. Are you actually calling Missy Moo a piece of shit because she offered FFG half the money for the bill that you should have been paying for the BBJ? 
Are you really doing that? Yeah, what, she, she, number one, you film from a potato, you film in the wrong rotation, and you film your laptop trying to, what, trying to say that, she was trying to say that uh, something's fishy about Salah and all these men are adding her on, on Instagram, whatever. You're a fat white woman with friggin' uh, Canadian citizenship, maybe somebody wanted you for that, I don't know. I think you do know because that's exactly what you're doing. Be tied to Salah, like what are you even talking about? Do you know how many people try to add me on friggin' Instagram as well? She's demented. Honestly, I, I don't like that people humanize animals like the same way. Like they're totally fine with a bee, like like boozin for just boozin for example. Literally, will sit there and like condemn me for animal abuse and neglect. You did elder abuse. You literally have a criminal record for beating an elderly person. And guess I'll keep repeating that because it is relevant. Because you sit on your high horse and you make a hundred videos about me in a week to support your child, and like it's ridiculous. It's just bullying with a smile on. And you're just bullying with a background. Hi, beezers. Like, really, everyone, this is the point, everyone has dirt and skeletons in their closet. So for people to be self-righteous and, like, condemn me and try to ruin my reputation, ruin my life, bring me down, whatever, over things that you did even worse, you need to get a life. Seriously, and reevaluate yourself. The person that allowed her grandmother to die while she went over to her cokey ex-boyfriend, who made it very clear that he didn't love her, is telling us to reevaluate things. Let's stop valuing animals' lives over humans. Yes, they are our babies, but they are animals. Exactly, Aisha, right, like... Give me a break. And then I have somebody on a hate campaign. I can't stand this person. Like, I keep reporting their channel because they're friggin' stupid. So that's even more time you're not spending with your fake husband. Sounds like such a happy marriage. I'm getting so much hate over Harry. Harry's cage. I swear. Like, I, I just ignore. Like, whatever. I don't even care. You don't care that you're abusing an animal? Where have I heard that before? It's so ridiculous. This this hamster would be cat food if it weren't for living in this apartment. He's lucky to be here, okay? He was in a cage when we bought him with 100 million other hamsters. Didn't look like he had a good quality of life, okay? So we took him from that, gave him his own place with a wheel, with tunnels, with a whole bunch of bedding. He can borrow in the wood shavings. I give him fresh salad every day. I give him mango. I give him food. He has fresh water. He has a playpen. So can it. Keep your outrage up your butt because it's not, I don't care. You can't say I don't care after you've talked about something for two minutes. You obviously do. You're raging about it constantly. You don't know how to look after a hamster. You don't want to put the effort into looking onto Google how to look after a hamster. You don't want to order a cage. You don't want to spend any money on a hamster because why the fuck would you? If it's not food that's going in your mouth, why the fuck would you want to spend money on it? Oh, sorry. Salah's money on it because you're not making any money. Like, you're just showing time and time again that you're not considerate at all. And you're an awful human being. But, you know, we all know that. Just getting that out there. I, honestly, people talk so much about how much I eat. If I was so worried about it, I wouldn't be doing it on camera. The fact that I eat a pizza in your face means suck it. I don't care. I don't care. I told people many times. I, if I'm 800 pounds, I don't care. How many times have you filmed yourself sitting outside a hospital saying that you need to go because you're having chest pains or that you've got some sort of pain? And then you go to the hospital and they say, yeah, you've got some really bad problems. And then you just say... Oh, fuck it, I'll get a takeaway tonight anyways. And then we don't hear about it for six months and then you do it again and it's just this cycle. You know, eventually you're not going to be able to go to the hospital because it's going to be too late. Why am I being fat shamed? By honestly, all of the reactors have fupas and are about 900 pounds each. To somebody that says weight doesn't matter, you sure seem to chat about the reactor's weight a hell of a lot. No, okay, sorry. If you collect all their weight together, please give me a break. I'm sorry. Like, you literally are fat people fat shaming another fat person. If that's not projection 101, I don't know what it is. You can worry about someone's health. Worry about, they need to worry about their own health, Barbara. The difference is you film every part of your life, so every part of you struggling just to do normal human things, we see, and therefore you're going to get comments on it. I don't understand why you can't understand that. It, it blows my mind that when people see you sitting on a sofa struggling to breathe, you think people aren't going to comment on that. That's fucking scary. You should be scared. Instead of wolfing down pizza, you should maybe be thinking about the fact that you may not be here next year. You're going to tell me that FF Goblin is the epitome of health? Love the fact that certain creators will happily call out FFG for calling Salah Salad, but foodies literally call in a Jewish person a goblin and yeah, nothing. No one's got a problem with it. Okay, I'll remember that. She smokes a freaking bag of red cigarettes every day, smoking out BBJ. I know you hate to listen, but just try for a second. BBJ isn't living with FFG. She said that so many times. And even if she was smoking near the cat, it wouldn't matter because you've just spent how many years smoking near that cat when you're having weed? and allowing the cat to be kicked and whatever else you've done that hasn't been caught on camera. So maybe you should just, you know, shh. You can't tell me she's not. And then on top of that, she must be eating behind the scenes because have you seen her at Shannon's? No? We saw the body at the fashion show. No, seriously, our apartment is like totally fine. It's a one bedroom. It's pretty big for, it's a normal size. I lived in a smaller apartment in Canada. Like our first, my first apartment with Pete was a crappy small, tiny, like tiny, tiny apartment. From somebody that was living in a car last year, I genuinely don't care how big the place is that you're living. The issue is that you are constantly taking the piss out of FFG for the size of her place because you were living in a big house, even though you weren't able to look after it, so you would have been better in a small room. Nobody gives a fuck if it's a one-bedroom place. It's just the irony of the fact that you were taking the piss out of where she lives 
And now look where you live. Miss Cena was turning on you now because she doesn't like the truth. She does, just like Sarah Plain, honestly. I just, Sarah Plain, I just sent her birthday money. And then she goes on Monty's panel. Like somebody who does nothing, his panel at that time was full of that crazy eyed kooky lady. Oh, she's hell. She's insane. All of those people are insane. They're all weird. And she goes on there trying to act like she has, like, wow, <laughs> I'm a beezer. No, you're not. You're a hypocrite. And you're a hippo. <laughs> like, get a life. I love, I need to vent, I swear. Chantal Goblin is an anti Semitic. Please stop using it. Just a reminder, this woman got pissed off about the word salad, so let's see if she's going to respect someone's wish. What? That rodent has a good life. He could be in the drain, okay? So shut it. I'll use the word goblin all I want. Yeah, goblin, goblin, goblin. Such a grown-up as usual. So that's that's definitely, like, I remember that about Shannon. Like, really? So you're BFFs with Shannon. That's nice to know. So are you going to offer to help her with her dogs? Are you going to take her dogs from her because they're not being treated right? Why do you keep pointing out that you saw dogs being abused and didn't do anything about it? It's really not helping your case at all. Like seriously, at least I didn't lock my cats in a room and have them freaking to get out just so I can ignore them to get high or whatever. You did let your coked up ex-boyfriend kick the cat though and not do anything about it and threaten to get rid of the cats because you wanted to move in with them. But yeah, you're a great person. Just because I couldn't handle them. Yeah, she makes Islamophobic remarks all the time. I have no sympathy whatsoever for her. Name some. Show proof. Oh, what, there isn't any? Because you're chatting shit, just trying to get sympathy as usual. She's disgusting. They are zombies, literally. Like, every time I see something about them, it's like, they're always like, rage. They're literal zombies walking around going, rage, waiting for me to rage. Watch how many people use this for content. A foodie beauty rage, a foodie beauty rage. I will never understand the mentality of adults who act this way. And then these people have the nerve to say, I shouldn't have children. I can guarantee you I would not expose them to this crap and be talking and bullying people on the internet when I do have some. Thank you. You are funny. If you had children, how do you support them? If you weren't going to put them on the internet? Because what can you actually do? What benefit are you to anyone at this point? You can barely make it off the sofa, but luckily you will never ever be able to adopt children. So it's okay. It feels really crazy how much hate Chantal gets, but the reactors cannot handle a bit of it. No, they can't. The demon goblin can't come near me. She, she wouldn't have the nerve or the guts to come face to face with me. Look what, what happened when she did. This is the person you threatened to knock out if you ever saw them and you ended up begging them to come and have some poutine with you afterwards. So, okay. Complaining about putting what? They're talking about my pizza, really? As if they all pretend they don't eat junk food. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Like, oh my gosh. As a typical British person, I tend to have fish and chips every Friday. The difference between you and me, foodie, is that the front of my portion, it doesn't say family size. I have no problem with how I look. My husband has no problem. No problem or no choice. At least I don't look like a toothless old man who got stung by a bunch of bees. Yes, you're right. You nailed it. You nailed it, Colonel. Coming from Miss, I never talk about anyone's weight. can be attracted to big pe a big person. Do you know how much of the world is fat, by the way? A huge percentage, almost half. A large part of the world is overweight. They're not morbidly obese. So you're telling me all those people. So basically, but when they say things about me, they're talking about themselves. Because if you're saying that, no man will touch me, whatever, you're fat, you look like this, you look like that. Sarah, like Sarah Jane has the nerve to call me Jabba the Hutt for laying down. Have you seen your screen capture of you laying in bed? You look more like Jabba than I do. This is what I mean. It's like hypocrisy to the max. I don't even get it. Like, I'll never get it. And Shannon mistreating her pets. Are you kidding? But then what's her face will be best friends with her. Kinda sounds like somebody wants FFG to be her best friend instead. <laughs> and then rile up an audience to be the savior of BBJ. Fuck off. Sorry, not sorry. Sometimes you just have to tell people to F off, I swear. It's so hard not to. Once again proving that deep down you are just a 16 year old in a 40 year old's body. She looks like John C. Riley. you're so right. <laughs> oh, now I can't see it. I was thinking of what gross celebrity she looked like. A sentence no happily married woman would be saying if they were happy in their relationship. Spend time with your loving husband and do stuff with him instead of trying to think out who somebody looks like. It's sad. Ew. She's a weight gain channel. Who picks? These people pick on Amber Lynn and I as if they're any better. They all start, look at her, Charlie, they all start channels trying to prove that they can do better. Ah, how's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? You could literally hide BBJ in your gullet at this point. How's that working out for you? Jen and FFG, they belong together, they're both white trash. Oh, I thought I looked cute, whatever. I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't have the same eyes as you guys, I guess. I don't look at myself in the mirror and think I'm ugly. I don't look at it just because I'm fat. I don't. How can you honestly say that while sitting here looking like the evil queen from Snow White? Yeah, we all know you've got a magic mirror. Doesn't mean it's right. I never did. I never did. Like when I laid down on the side, so what? Big deal. Am I supposed to be less of a person just because I, I don't can't cross my legs and eat capsa? I have to lay on my side and eat capsa? So what? Who cares? Laying down on your side is, you know, whatever. Who, who gives a crap? As somebody with no medical training, I can honestly say if you get to the point that you've put on so much weight that you can no longer cross your legs, please, for the love of God, go and see a doctor. I'm not going to think I'm ugly just because I'm fat. It doesn't matter what we think. If you are comfortable in your skin and you're beautiful, so yeah, exactly. If you are comfortable in your skin, exactly. I'm glad that you love yourself. That's good because that makes at least one person that loves you. And if you have to just sit there and like make three hour live streams about somebody's how they look and what, what they might smell like, you've never seen me in person. And actually out of her big fat mouth, she said herself, I smell good. So, and so did S-Jam. So now all of a sudden, because they're against me, 
it's the other it's the other story i hate this is exactly what miss yumi does i hate people like this i'm so glad they are out of my life golden girl i'm alhamdulillah i'm starting to feel a little bit better i think i think <clears throat> as you still nurse a cough that you've had for over two weeks now i've seen a video from somebody who's trying so hard to just make me look bad among many people so it's like they took my tiktok and put my my face with no makeup on and i still looked nice so what are you proving i don't really get the point of anybody doing that i mean she's not the ugliest person in the world but her soul and her attitude is so I'd much prefer to take the mick out of that. It's always so funny that the people who pick on lol cows are even bigger messes themselves. It's really weird. It's like huge big projection circle jerk community. And it's so toxic and disgusting. And it's adult people. Adult people with children. Adult people who, like, I don't, I'll just never get it. And you keep feeding into it by making videos like this. <clears throat> if she feels embarrassed to show her goblin face on camera when she wrecks your boring Kuwait arc. Yeah, exactly. So you can claim that people saying salad instead of salad is racist, yet you're literally being anti-Semitic by repeating the word goblin. Exactly. How, my life is boring. The only thing you have is milking BBJ's um, health problems for views. A 21-year-old cat. Yeah, of course they're going to have health problems, moron. 17-year-old cat, imbecile. Like, literally, what did she do with her dogs? She literally, they were, they were sick, so she like forced them to take a whole bunch of medication and then ended up euthanizing them. What, who did I euthanize? Did I euthanize anybody? No. So you need to take that energy and call her the killer, not me, if that's what you think. I'm not against euthanasia, but if that's what you want to do. There are numerous clips of you talking about putting your cat down without even knowing what the issues were, if any. So that's why people have a problem, not with euthanasia. What people don't like about other people's user reflection, exactly. No, if they don't strike FFG, they're not going to do it for me, whatever. <clears throat> so, oh, what's the matter? You don't like that I talk out against these people who talk about me every day? Stay mad. Violin for you. Get out of here. Keep your crappy dollar. She's the animal abuser, exactly. She's f just prolonging, like, you know what I mean? Oh, definitely, yeah. FFG paying over a grand for a cat so that it has a better life is very abusive. Every time she takes that cat to the vet, milk it for views, milk it for views. It's really disgusting. Uh, I'll never talk about it online. I'll sign an NDA. Which you turned your nose up at, so I'm glad she's talking about it all she can. Yeah, I can't be, exactly. Somebody, I can't be that boring if she covers me like TMZ every day. Let her spend all her money on BBJ, yeah. She's a piece of shit and she'll get her karma for it. Like, anybody who does that is just a piece of crap. She's a low-life piece of crap. Yeah, so anyone, if you've ever rescued a pet and then took them to the vet so that they can have a better life, just know that Chantal thinks you're a piece of crap. You can't even say, like, oh, well, she did she did good on cat care, she's taking her to the vet. Literally, literally, the only reason is because she took the cat before I took her to the vet the very next day, because they refused. They refused. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. So, there you go. Now you can't complain about it. I know that you'll never listen however many times I say this, but once again, she took the cat to the vet because you were going to kill the cat. Okay, she saved that cat's life. Get over it. And the teeth, I brought her to the vet before. Her teeth were bad for a long time. And the vet said at her age, like, it's up to you if you, like, I'm not going to put her through, like, traumatic teeth cleaning, like, for, like, no. Get a life. Which translates to, I'm not going to spend any money on the cat. She's already dying. And I don't give a fuck about anyone else. I'm so sick of the subject. Like, I'm so sick of, like, people telling people how to take care of their pets. 30 seconds ago, you were just critiquing FFG for having to put down our dogs. So which one is it? Like, F off. It's, I, I don't care. You're not going to get to me for it. I don't care if you think I'm an animal abuser. I don't care if you cancel me. I don't care. I never will. Says the person that can't stop talking about it and making lives about it. I, I, this whole gore world word makes me want to throw up every time I hear it. It's such BS. It's such, it's just toxic bullying from a bunch of people who hate themselves. I mean, it's just like, it's stupid and ridiculous that like, I, I honestly don't even want to be part of this platform anymore. It's ridiculous that like, I put out content and then like, at least seven people a day or more go live for hours dissecting and talking about every stupid ridiculous thing that they're worse guilty of or they're even worse like in weight and whatever it's just so dumb i, I like it makes me hate people i can't even tell you how much you can and you have my 10 year old dog needed his teeth cleaning they advised me not to because he was in bad health yeah i'm sure i could call a vet right now and be like i dare you to call a vet on live and give them the results that ffg has got from this vet and see if they would put the cat down because I bet you they wouldn't and then you'll just look really stupid. Given all, like if I'd taken her, I'm sure they would've said, you know, it's like, it's not even like worth it for me like to be on this platform. It's just all toxic. It's not worth my mental health. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know. Like I like my beezers and everything, but. You like the money you get from your beezers. That's it. Literally said in her own words, the cat is in good health for being her age. It goes right over their heads. They're zombies. They're literal zombies. They don't have a freaking brain cell between all of them. Yeah, and I'm the vile person. I'm the vile person because my cat's nails were overgrown. Like, give me a break. My one cat's nails because she was older. Like, I don't know what people want. Do you want me to cut off my arm? Will that make it better for you? You literally value, like, you don't value human life at all. You people are ridiculous. I, like, people who are just d disgusting, disgusting, hateful people. Ridiculous. And then this moron with a freaking orange creamsicle hair hairdo, like 25 years old, has no life experience, obviously, has the nerve to say she never got drunk and then judge me for what happened when I got drunk. Like, get a life. You can't judge something you don't know. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship? No. Don't sit here trying to get pity because you're in a, an abusive relationship, as you say, even though you've taken back the claims many times. Yet you'll sit here and slag off Dee Dee, who is obviously in the same situation that you're saying you were in at some point. 
obviously worse because you were in a financial situation to be able to get out of it. She now can't. She now has an abuser living with her and she can't get rid of him. Not that she's necessarily trying. I've not really got any sympathy for her. But for you to try and get pity for something like that is disgusting. It has the nerve to be like, we don't want you on, I'm a worry for the children with Foodie Beauty being on, on TikTok. Number one, I don't give a shit what you think. Number two, are you kidding? You can, do you know how many people you scroll through on TikTok? There's literal women half naked on there. You showed your, you barely, almost showed your boobs on your TikTok. Are you kidding? We should be more worried about you, you weirdo. Out of all the bad things on TikTok, the first thing she does is point out that there's pretty women on there that are showing their body because they're comfortable with how they look, because she's jealous of all women. Our world community is literally, like, the husband of the person who committed suicide. Like, I'm only bringing it up because, like, honestly, I'm surprised it's not gotten more attention. Somebody literally took their life. Let, like, let that sink in. And the community just doesn't give a crap. They're trying to just say, like, I didn't have anything to do. Of course, nobody's indirectly responsible for someone taking their life, like, especially if they had mental health conditions or whatever. But that's the thing. Like, people get pushed and pushed and pushed. And YouTube as a platform just allows targeting and bullying. Like, they don't do anything to protect their creators and it might not have been ffg directly but the whole girl world community like people who were attacking her for supporting me like just sick disgusting people and i don't know what harassment she was getting maybe in private she was getting more harassment who knows one of the only impressive things you do is manage to make something that should be totally about someone else i.e somebody committing suicide and you've still managed to bring it about on yourself and make it about you and make your life worse Poor Chantal. I could never, never, never think, like, have, what, like, why would you want to spend your time doing that? Like, I don't understand. What kind of content is that? What's your legacy on YouTube? Like, where do you think your channel's going to go? Even Goblin is, a, is borrowed time, seriously. I've hardly ever heard you call FFG Goblin, but now that you know that it's anti-Semitic, you keep saying it. With that. I wish miserable people would just take their misery out on themselves and leave other people out of it. I'm sorry, less than a minute ago, you were saying about the fact that somebody had actually ended up ending their own life because of what's going on in here and you literally just told people to take their misery out on themselves what do you think that amounts to how has that helped in the past this woman did this and now she's no longer here oh the way i talk about animals is disgusting okay so how about the way they talk about human beings what about that mia shut up your ass and i don't have to be by the way another thing missy was like uh, accountability they're all about accountability i don't owe you any accountability i don't owe you anything you're strangers to me don't forget that any time of the day, you can choose not to watch me if you think I'm an animal abuser, if you think I'm bile, if you think I'm disgusting, if you think I'm Jabba the Hutt, don't watch me. Plain and simple. But you will because you have nothing else to do. You cannot get anything on your own. You cannot make a presence on YouTube on your own. Just watch. I should really seriously go ghost for a month and see what happens. I bet you any money I would improve my life, <laughs> number one. I would have a lot of time too. Um, and all of you would do nothing but replay Cuba Ridge over and over. That's it. That's all you have. Talking about me eating pizza. Ooh. As if you don't eat pizza. That's my problem with that. You probably, like, seriously. The sad thing is she honestly only thinks the thing she's ever done wrong is Cuba rage. And she'll say that because she was in an abusive relationship that that was the reason why she did it. She doesn't retain any information at all. She is a goldfish. This proves that Salah has his own money because again, you cannot live here unless you have money. You will not live here. You cannot even renew your, your ID without money. You can't. You need a job. You need money. In my last video, I pointed out that there are 100,000 homeless people in Kuwait, so once again, she's talking shit. If you have a job, you have money. Got it? Maybe try doing it yourself instead of relying on bullying people online and making up rumours for money. You're obviously jealous that Reaction Channel just managed to make your content palatable. You do remember the whole reason you got popular was because you were doing edited videos, yes? Now you've gone to lies because it's easier for you, but the content is awful. So we talk over it, or we edit it down, and make it actually half entertaining. Elizabeth, I don't want somebody supporting Goblin in my chat. Flopera clearly does. At least it's your unhappiness. Why do they insist on consuming it? It's disordered behavior. So true, like whatever. And I'm not unhappy. I'm the happiest I've ever been in a long time. Like just because I speak out about like people being hypocrites and I'm not happy with being abused on a platform um, over and over again, that I'm unhappy. Yeah, because of you guys, not because of my personal life, you know? But it's, I mean, it, it doesn't affect me to the point of making me unhappy. It just frustrates me to the point of me wanting to vent about it, you know? It's times like this, I actually have a shred of sympathy for Salah because I can't imagine how embarrassing it is to have your so-called wife going online and acting like a 14 year old. So I'm not gonna let an ugly person inside and out like goblin, loser, low life piece of crap like these people affect my emotional health. It's just not gonna happen. Anyways, I, I just find that really hypocritical that um, goblin head is, no wait, what do we call her, John C. Riley? That John C. Riley is raging about my pet care when Shannon, her best friend, is even worse. It's coming. They think that they're gonna like just thrive forever on this, no. You know what, pretty, like, pretty soon no one's gonna care about me and I can't wait. <laughs> One thing you've said that I totally agree on. No, no, be so. Hey, babe, come, come sit down. No. Thank you. <laughs> You're like, no. Do you miss me? Yeah. I'm coming. Oh, I'm <laughs> coming. <laughs> you see that? A smile from a man who loves me. Something you'll never see, FFG. So keep BBJ, torture BBJ for money all you want. Um, use my boring streams for your crappy content because you have no personality and no one will watch you unless, you know, you're talking about me. And not only talking about me, you can't get any views unless you're being a horrible piece of crap and that will catch up to you. And when it does, I cannot wait. I'll be singing and dancing. Don't worry.
Two things you definitely can't do because your health is so bad at the moment. Also, you say FFG is a horrible person and she's got a rubbish personality, yet everybody watches your content on her channel and other reaction channels. So what does that say about you? How bad are you as a person that people go to other places just to watch you be a piece of shit? I love when people send me money and then Salah deletes it. Um, oh crap, Salah is in the apartment with Chantal. What a surprise. 17 months, ready, set, rebies. Um, oh, ch cheese grater, you know what? Are you the moral police? My, what I do, haram, halal, is between me and God, okay? Not you and your super chat. Literally, name a rumor. I've dispelled it. I've literally proven things. Don't worry. Like, if, you know what? I, I really don't want to show my marriage certificate, but if I really have to, I will. And then, but the thing is, I show it, and then people will be like, it's photoshopped. So call the authorities then. Like, it's easy to find out. We're married, plain and simple. That milky tea person, whatever the, her name with the wig there, who thought she was so right about everything, and I had to react to her video, wrong. She's wrong. The people, no. Whenever I prove people wrong, it doesn't even get noticed because nobody cares about the truth. It's because, firstly, you've never proved anything, and secondly, no one's watching your videos anymore. So if you're willing to just put up with lies for entertainment, I will pray for you because you could be doing so many better things in the world. You know what I mean? It's funny how you judge what other people could be doing and how other people could be helping the world. When you were earning 20 grand a month, how many charities did you donate to? None. Well, I suppose we could class NADA as a charity, but yeah, none that mattered. Here's a rodent. A no good rodent. Oh, outrage about that. He's a rodent and we're putting him in the air fryer. Go call animal control. No one cares here. It's a bit racist to say that people in Kuwait don't care about their animals just because you don't. I don't have time for drama. It's stupid and annoying. 3D models of your apartment? No. Ugh, I just lost faith in humanity, seriously. Like, seriously, it's a it's a, an apartment. Like, people are so ignorant. Like, you're seriously, like, you don't know what it's like to live in this part of the world. You don't know what apartments are like here. There's nothing wrong with our apartment. Nothing whatsoever. Seriously, at least we have a home. You're gonna seriously make fun of, like, people, like, get a life. Nobody actually cares about your apartment. It's just ironic that you were literally digging at FFG for living in a Motel 6 and constantly, not just once, constantly commenting on where she lived. Yet, now you live in a worse place than that. I'd say that's karma. There's nothing to judge. Like, oh wow, there's cracks in the wall in some places? Who gives a shit? Like, do we sleep on the wall cracks? No, we sleep in a comfortable bed. We have a big couch, we have two TVs, we have a full-size fridge, we have a stove, we have everything we need. Like, why? Like, what's the big deal? Washer, dryer? Like, I literally would live in a box with him. So the fact that you're shaming our apartment has no effect on us whatsoever. If it doesn't affect you, why are you bringing it up? She's not 18. Can she not do math or what? Like, I got the cat in 2004, and she was 1 to 2 years old. They didn't know exactly she was at a shelter. So 1 to 2, 2004, that makes her 21. And she was a full-size grown cat when I got her. I have pictures to prove it. So she was probably more on the 2-year-old side. So she's 21. She's 21. Hmm, who am I going to trust? A well-known liar that lies, or a vet with actual, like, medical training? Even 18 is uh, an old enough age. She's only saying the age thing because she's trying to make you look worse than you were considering euthanizing her. Exactly, but she euthanized her dogs. So, make that make sense to me. How her audience comes to me, calls me an animal killer when I didn't kill anybody. So, but she did. So that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And the fact that adults cannot compute this in their brains or cannot make a logical thought is ridiculous. I just saw the vile goblin while she is sniping you when you said, if the Kuwait air is so boring, don't watch. And she ignored it and just said, thanks for the super chat. Of course, of course. People pay her to be hateful. That's all. She, that's all she'll ever be is a dancing monkey for hate. I love that for her. You, I, you could not pay me enough to have that life. Not enough. No, you can have your shitty three, 4,000 viewers. All hate. Never, never. At the end of the day, you're a lonely piece of crap and you're vile and you're disgusting looking. You're a racist, drug addicted, animal abuser. I don't really think you should be saying anything. Like you have no, no place at all talking about anyone's looks, what they eat, because you're not eating salads from the looks of you. Um, excuse me, don't say the S word, it's racist. Whole family's in on it, old me. Her whole family was in on the plot for BBJ. Like her crappy sister-in-law, demented mental sister-in-law. And now you're mental health shaming, which you bitched about people for doing to you. What a surprise. It's sociopathic to email, to message me every day in DM. I would never expose anything. I don't want to be on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. I'm a sick woman. I would love to take care of her. Don't worry about it. We'll take her to the vet. Yeah, I bet you will. So you can milk it, right? So you can buy a family home and talk about me some more on a bigger screen TV. You friggin' losers. You talk about my family, your whole family is demented. My family would never do something like this. So you have the nerve to talk about my family. And calling my aunt, Uncle Phyllis, look at you, John C. Riley. You look like Artie Lang. Look at my thumbnail. Look at that. It's just sounding like you're jealous that FFG's family actually like her and yours don't. I imagine most of your family were really happy to hear that you were moving away from them so they didn't have to keep being embarrassed by the things that you do. Yet you're still managing to do that. Over the other side of the world, you're still managing to be an awful human being. Thank goodness they don't have to deal with your shit anymore. That whole community is a joke. Like you can say be Islamophobic all you want and talk about how boring Kuwait is. Nobody does that crap, pathological crap here. Okay, I'm so much happier being away from a society where people are like this. I, I can't stand it. I don't give a crap anymore, Kuwait, and honestly, people twist anything anyways. You mocked a school shooting and called your ex-boyfriend a camel and said that he deserved to be hanged. What 
of that did I misinterpret exactly? By explaining BBJ things and making up things. People want to talk about Chantal's low numbers, but there are probably hundreds of people taking her content and playing it themselves at this point. It's a robbery. Yeah, that's I honestly like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like just taking a break, like seriously. Firstly, it's fair use. Secondly, take a break. What have you been doing for the last, like, what, three, four years since you've quit your job? You've just been sitting down, taking a break. Oh, and taking loads of narcotics too. I know I always say that, but then, I don't know, I never do it. When I saw it, like, literally, I had to log into my, this is what happened. I don't watch this ugly, disgusting goblin with 800 chins. Yes, I'm insulting her and I love it. I... <laughs> Watching you laugh at your own anti-Semitic joke is just so cringy <laughs> i um was logging into i had to log into our Stella and chantal account to uh, upload our vlog and on the recommended page because this stupid ugly goblin um stream she she puts my name in the tag so she can get views so <clears throat> i saw the, the thumbnail of her talking about my pizza and my eating disorder whatever and the nerve like what are you like what are the how are all of these 500 pound people with 900 chins suddenly experts in eating disorders where i'd like to know what you're doing about your eating disorder but seriously you know what i mean babe like they, they comment on how i eat but they're all serious severely overweight take your own advice they try to cancel me. You can keep trying. It ain't gonna happen. No, I can't. Try harder. Nobody's trying to cancel you. You're gonna do that on your own. Look what happens on TikTok. People know what a disgusting human being you are and they're not interested. So what are you gonna do now? Nobody forget that FFG killed her two dogs back to back. And she, this is proof she's doing it for clout. She literally killed her dogs, Rebe. And people call me a cat killer when I didn't even effing euthanize the BBJ. Like they have no brains. They must all be like 15 with no brain. I, I can't think of anything else. The only reason you didn't get to kill your perfectly healthy cat was because of FFG. So remember that. Exactly. FFG killed her two dogs in one year. Yeah. And nobody took anything about no, it. No, I know. This is so... Dog uh, killer. Dog yeah, killer. So Dog killer. As always, that was the last one to catch up with the joke. Thanks for repeating what's already been said. So funny. She's a disgusting animal killer. Like, it's just pathetic, the hypocrisy. You know, uh, when I uh, open her live uh, by accident, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I make her mute. I don't listen to her voice at all. <laughs> I can't stand it. No, well, I know. Well, I swear. Like, he literally gagged one time. <laughs> it's like, it's the most disgusting voice I've ever seen, or sorry, I've ever heard in my life. Right? Yeah. It's so disgusting. Getting high is legal, but FFG drove home high. Yeah, and they got, all got on my ass about that. That's They use anything to try to be self-righteous, you know, to justify their BS. Like You filmed yourself on a live smoking a vape. So, you're literally critiquing something that you have no proof of. Yet, we have proof that you smoke weed while you're driving. Yeah, I don't have open chats. Obviously, my numbers are going to be lower. And there's no drama. I would rather that. Okay. Okay. The reason you have chats that are only allowed to have VIBs in is because you're sensitive and you can't deal with any criticism or any questions that you don't like. And also, the fact that you make people pay just to be able to speak to you is fucking gross. Part of the reason I was going to consider euthanasia was because of the trauma it would be to rehome her. Imagine having to live with French fried goblin. Like, there, she smokes. They smoke. Because the one picture of BBJ had cigarette burns in the blanket. So you're totally fine. Oh, oh I smoked weed a couple times around them. I don't chain smoke red cigarettes in front of my cats, okay? Seriously. I can't imagine what you were like growing up. You're so deluded. Like, the way you think is crazy. The fact that you're saying that FFG is smoking around the cat when we all know that the cat's not living with FFG and the fact that you're trying to say you only smoked a couple of times around this cat is a joke. We've seen what you did. And also you allowed your cat to be kicked by a person you were in love with and you did nothing about it. Just rest in peace for her dogs. Yeah. The dogs, uh, which, uh, she killed them. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Plain and simple. For a lot, lot, lot less than what I was going to like uh, bring BBJ to the vet to get figured out, you know? Mm. Anyway, here I am with no filters, still cute, and I don't even have hardly any makeup on. So Good try, this is you with no filters on. Sorry for the jump scare. Great, so Mr. Personality's joined us, so I won't be doing this video for much longer. Damn cute, come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> Not really, but thanks. <laughs> no, it's really. Aww. I love Salah, love. Thank you, Kristen. I love your beard. At the end of the day, you, that whole community needs to grow up and go touch grass. Coming from someone that can barely wipe her own ass, I really wouldn't be critiquing what people can reach and touch and what they can't. Get a life. Instead of sitting there judging the lives of somebody who is so boring and you can't stand, and we have a fake marriage and blah, 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 where's yours? Where's your love life? You're all miserable, old, fat, single women who are miserable with themselves and are projecting onto me. So middle finger to you from the blue window and get a life. I'm 160 pounds and I'll prove it any day of the week. So what's going to be a problem with me now? Yeah. I'm not, they're arguing with themselves. I did nothing to these people to be so vile and like invasive and just dumb. Do you know what this bullshit is uh, if it's happened here in Kuwait? Direct to the jail. Yeah, I know. They talk about like here being so bad. Are you kidding me? hundred times better. hundred times better for so many reasons. So many reasons. They're affecting the mental health of the, of the human, of the people. Yeah. So why are you not in prison? You're in Kuwait talking about this the way you do. Why aren't you in prison? You really shouldn't react to any of them anymore. That's what they want. Continue to smile and be happy in their faces. You have something they don't. This person's exactly right, yet you don't do that. You keep putting clickbaity titles to try and get people to watch you because they want to see you rant about this. 
that's the only reason people watch you anymore. What else is there? Your really, really boring husband and the fact that you can't stop eating? I mean, what else? <clears throat> she has quicker wits? Wits? Okay, you're gonna actually associate wit with the goblin, really? What wit? Insults? That's not wit. Anybody can insult anybody, trust me. Every single live that FFG does is funnier than yours, and she is more quick-witted than you, and sarcastic, and everything that people find entertaining. Maybe if you found a personality, then you'd be getting the views that you think you deserve, but you won't. Animal killer. Yeah, she killed her two dogs. I know we talk about this, it's so weird. No, by that, that logic, she's an animal killer. Yeah. Because her audience comes for me, leaves animal killer in my comments, when I didn't even euthanize anybody, and she euthanized her two dogs. You killed your dogs, your dog killer. You are so deluded. So you said that you would put BJ down because she was in pain. FFG put her dogs down because they were suffering and you're gonna call her a dog killer. Yet you literally wanted to put your cat down before you knew what was going on or she was even suffering. And you didn't even know how old she was. How are you a good pet owner exactly? They've aged themselves reacting to you. FFG's face is literally falling. Kaya's mole has grown to the size of Jupiter. Yabba's 500 pounds and double fist, Mexi double fist Mexican corn. Sarah looks like a death mask. <laughs> Uh, can have her hate money, I don't care, she can have her hate views, I don't care, at the end of the day, she doesn't have him, she doesn't have a life at all, period, beyond obsessing over mine and my leftovers, so. Not even blind and deaf people would want to have Salah as their husband. She has, and it won't last forever. Yeah, she has uh, no content, exactly. no life, exactly. no boyfriend, even yeah. her family, they don't like her. <laughs> Sorry, weren't you literally just saying like 10 minutes ago that her family are all in on it? So you need to make up your mind they even don't like her or they're all against you. She acts like she's like a big important person. Like she has nothing intelligent to say. Everyone who worships her blindly is just stupid and ridiculous. More stupid than her. She like seriously. Ew. You even sound like a 14 year old. It's ridiculous. You've just got nothing interesting to say at all. Anyway, if you want to be dumb, go for it. There's no skin off my ass. Um, um, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Yalla enough. Yalla. I don't know, Elizabeth. I miss you so. She's so like, I don't know how you go from one minute to like defending and being like, they're obviously so weird. Like in DMs, we have the DMs of them being like, we've never talked about you. Oh, this and that. Like, oh, um, they're so full of crap. It's like, we know you're, everything is true. And now all of a sudden trying to dig into like theories that haters come up with. You're okay with yourself with that? I love that for you. It's so, sad. It was so weird, by the way, when she opened the laptop and she was searching about uh, things. <laughs> trying to say you're a scammer basically after condemning mm. uh, hate channels for that same, doing the same dumb things. Fake people. I fake. think we've proved enough, not that we have to, that our love is not fake. Please give me a break. Who is he going to get better? If someone like FFG? Like this person's mm. criticizing like him being with me? Who would... Puke. Wait. I'll go puke. <laughs> Don't say her name, please. <laughs> Does he actually think he's funny? I don't really get it. He, again, is just like a teenager. They're just ridiculous. I'm glad they found each other. They definitely deserve each other. Blue window is a new window. I got all the Yeah, leave me rough. Yeah. Can't be beat. If you miss us, I'll tell you better run because being stuck in a blue window ain't going to be fun. A new song ever <laughs> coming. Don't ever talk about my eating habits when you look like a bullfrog who made it with John C. Riley. You stupid biatch. Okay, sorry for my language. You're only sorry because you're sitting in front of your husband. You killed your dog, so your audience needs to cool it on calling me a cat killer when you euthanized your dogs, okay? For a lot less. Shannon locks her dog, poor dog, in the room because she can't handle it and uh, lets it destroy her house and then lets it run around and bite people and won't take it to the vet for baby shots. Are you going to pay for that? Or are you too busy buying coke for each other when I you go to Cornwall? Shannon's dog uh, was uh, biting the neighbors. Right? Exactly, that's what I said. It has... Once again, Salah's late to the party. Rabies or something. And uh, that time she should... Like FFG. Yeah, that time she should take the dog for the vet. Yeah. Uh, then she said, oh, in this month I will take him to the vet. In this month. Yeah, exactly. Must be immediately. Must be immediately, like you demanded of me. And nobody talk about her. Yeah, exactly. And uh, they talk uh, about uh, smoking weeds while they are smoking a hundred of uh, weed cigarettes a day. Mm -hmm. I don't know how nice. much. Yeah. Hypocrites. Hypocrites people. Of course they are, baby. You're, this is new for you. You're not sick. You've never been I exposed to shit people yeah, like this. I, I was searching and, <laughs> and see the videos. I saw everything. And she abandoned her, her um, daughter, yeah, because she couldn't handle her too. Um, what else? And then you have Missy Poo, who, uh, Messy Poo, who has the nerve, has the nerve <laughs> to be self-righteous. Uh, about the, the and, and defend just boozing after just a couple weeks ago comparing her to Casey Anthony. Got it, got it. You're all crap, you're all stupid, and you're all shit without me. So, good night. Like, people here in this part of the world, like, okay, you say, oh, well, you should be thankful you come from Canada. Really? Really? Well, guess what? Being a resident here will allow me to not pay taxes and catch up on being taxed millions of freaking dollars. Two things. So, you're just admitting online that you're actually tax evading, even though your money goes through Canada and you will get taxed. Secondly, you only get taxed millions of dollars if you're actually making a decent amount of money. You're no longer doing that. Um, people are struggling in Canada to even like pay rent. People make like three, thirty-five hundred, I think, a month of the average is the average Canadian wage, and people have to pay like two thousand dollars in rent. It's ridiculous, and not just that; it's cold, depressing. And people are allowed to say whatever they want about people. They're allowed to cause people verbal abuse online to the point of people committing suicide. Here, you would die. I mean, not die, but you would get thrown in jail. Instantly, you would get fined. There's no way you would talk crap. Nobody does that here. People have, you know what I mean? Like, but you're now in Kuwait and you're doing that, so shouldn't you end up in jail? Would you trim your beard? No, I just uh, define it. Define it only. And I make it uh, more longer, a little bit, but I will stop it then. For here, I think, enough. 
It's like a stone. <laughs> okay, yellow. <laughs> so guys, I think it's the end for today. <laughs> people or people? Oh, okay, people. Uh, <laughs> people have respect here, okay? Yeah, there's respect here. <laughs> the people respect each other here, yes. Yeah. No, it's true. There's like etiquette and people are not you know, people trash like her. Have you made macaroni? And nobody does drug, like there's no drug addicted no people. Drugs, no perfect. As always, 10 seconds on a Google search and she's been proved wrong again. Challenge FMG to do a weigh-in. No, I want a weigh-in if you're going to criticize me for eating pizza. Yes, absolutely. You're so beautiful, lady. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're so handsome. You're, not, you're sweet. You're amazing. You can take good care of me. And on that note, I think I'm done. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, it really does mean a lot. I recently started a TikTok page as well and people have been so lovely over there. So if you're on TikTok, obviously um, feel free to come say hi. And um, yeah, just everyone's been really nice, really supportive and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much and I will speak to you all soon.